this video, I wanted to go over a new feature in AWS for creating a VPC or virtual private cloud. In a previous video, I did a step-by-step -step walkthrough for creating a VPC with all the necessary resources. That video was about 40 minutes long. If I wasn't recording a tutorial and trying to explain each step, it may have only taken me about 15 to 20 minutes. Once you go through that process a few times, it's normal to look for an easier, repeatable solution. For me, that was CloudFormation. I spent some time writing a YAML file I could upload to a CloudFormation stack that would ask me a few questions and provision everything I needed. However, in the past few weeks, AWS has come out with a new VPC experience that makes this process even easier, a VPC wizard. That's what we're gonna look at today. Let's navigate over to our VPC dashboard. I'm gonna click here on VPC. As you can see, I have no provisioned resources. This account is almost brand new and I only used it for one previous video. Afterwards, I went ahead and deleted all the resources to avoid usage fees. I'm going to click on Create VPC. Now, it's only been about two weeks since I recorded my previous video on VPC setup step by step. If you go back and watch that, you'll see this page looks different than it did two weeks ago. So it's very possible that by the time you watch this video, this page may have changed again. Don't get discouraged. Get used to that. AWS is constantly making changes and revisions, usually for the better, but the underlying functionality typically remains the same. If you want to know all the nitty gritty details about what goes into creating a VPC and all the underlying resources, watch my previous video. If you are watching this video, I'm going to assume that you are already familiar with route tables, subnets, NAT gateways, and so on. Unless I find something terribly wrong with this wizard, which I doubt, I will most likely be using the process I'm about to show you to set up my demo VPCs in future videos, so I wanted to record this process. Let's see how fast I can create a new VPC using the wizard. For my project name, I'm going to change it to Scripster. I'm going to leave the default IPv4 CIDR block. I'm going to leave the default IPv6. I'm also going to leave the default tenancy. For number of availability zones, I'm going to leave the default as 2. For the public subnets, I'm going to leave the default as 2. For private subnets, I'm going to leave the default as 2. For NAT gateways, for demo videos, I will most likely choose IN1AZ to reduce costs. However, if I was using this wizard for a production environment, I would choose one per AZ. Since this is a demo video, I'm going to choose IN1AZ. For VPC endpoints, I'll leave this as the default. Maybe I'll do a video on this at some point in the future, but it's not really applicable to what we're working on now. It's a feature AWS added to reduce overall costs of NAT gateways. For DNS options, I'll leave them both as enabled. For additional tags, I'm not going to add any tags, so we can go ahead and click Create VPC. As you can see, AWS is provisioning all the necessary resources. When it gets here to wait NAT gateways to activate, this can take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause the video and start it again once that's complete. The remainder of the resources have been provisioned, so I'm going to click on View VPC. And if I go over to my dashboard, you'll see that I have one VPC, one NAT gateway, four subnets, four route tables, one network ACL, one internet gateway, and one security group. So what previously took me about 15 to 20 minutes got reduced down to a CloudFormation stack that I had to spend a lot of time working on to make it exactly what I needed. What you just saw completely removed the need for me to use anything in CloudFormation to provision VPC resources. I was able to go in, use the VPC wizard, click a few buttons, in about 45 to 50 seconds provision everything that I needed for a VPC. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can get notifications on future videos. Now that we know the basics for setting up a VPC, I will be doing more videos on other services within the AWS ecosystem.